Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cobian History. Today we are gonna take a look at some more news stories and we'll get right into it with the first story. A 99 million year old millipede fossil has been found extremely well preserved in amber. It lived during the age of dinosaurs in what is now Southeast Asia. In the past a large variety of millipedes have developed over the ages some even growing over 2 meters long. But this one was exceptionally small, only growing to about 8.2 millimeters. And this specimen was an adult as well. We know this because we can observe fully developed sperm storing sacs on the underside of it, which also tells us that it was female. Because it was so well preserved, scientists were able to identify it not only as a new species, but as a whole new suborder in the order of Calipodida, which is the order that contains all other suborders of millipedes as well. For our next story, we are going to South America, where the oldest evidence of humans in the whole of the Americas was found. A footprint made by a prehistoric human was found in Chile and it dates back to around 15,600 years ago. The footprint was discovered way back in 2010, but it took years for researchers to verify how old these footprints actually were. They tested six different organic remnants found in the rock layer where the foot was made, so they could be sure of its age and determine how it was made exactly. Their research revealed that the human who made it likely weighed around 70 kilograms and that the soil back then was wet and sticky. It also appears that a clump of the sticky dirt clung to the person's toes and fell back into the footprint when it was lifted up, which you can see in this illustration. So now on to our last story for today. For the first time, fossils from the ancient human species known as the Denisovans have been identified outside of Siberia. Denisovans were an extinct group of hominins similar to the Neanderthals, but they lived in Asia instead of Europe. They are only known from a handful of fossils, some still containing their DNA which were found at the Denisova cave in Siberia. And by studying these DNA fragments, researchers realized that genetic traces of Denisovans can be found in the DNA of people from Asia and native Australians today, which is kind of similar to the traces of Neanderthal DNA that we can find in our own genome as well. Both of these were caused by interspecies breeding between Homo sapiens and the other species of humans, which resulted in some of their DNA mixing with ours. In the DNA found at the Denisova cave, there was a mystery as well. The Denisovans had a genetic adaptation for living at high altitudes, something they wouldn't have needed in the location where they were found. And this is where we come to the actual news story because this new fossil that was found might shed some light on that mystery. It was found on the Tibetan Plateau, which is the highest plateau on Earth, also known as the Roof of the World. And it's probably here that those genetic adaptations to live at high altitudes evolved. Estimates date the fossil, which is a jawbone by the way, to be at least 160,000 years old, which makes the fossil the earliest sign of hominins in that region, predating evidence of modern humans on the Tibetan Plateau by around 30 to 40,000 years. The jawbone was originally found in 1980 at an altitude of over 3,000 meters. But unlike the Denisovans of Siberia, this one in Tibet didn't leave any DNA behind, which made it a lot harder to identify. Researchers have now been able to confirm that the bone was from a Denisovan by studying the proteins found in its molars, which tend to last longer than DNA. Thanks for watching this video. I will put a poll on this video, it's the i button at the top of the screen, and there you can decide which story you like best. And again, I want to thank Bishop King for being my Patreon supporter. He's still the only one at the moment, so if you want to check out my Patreon, a link will be down in the description below. 